Hey folks, Matt from Art of the Image here. So I'm back today, very excited. The Nikon D600 was announced yesterday, or the day before, I guess it depends where in the world you were. And uh, it looks to be the perfect camera, which is the reason for this video. I want to give you seven reasons the D600 may be the perfect camera for you and me. I know it's going to be the perfect camera for you. Let me give you my reasons, see if they work for you. Number one, Full frame image quality. Always a given that the full frame 35 millimeter cameras are the best image quality out of the DSLRs. So now we have that in this new D600 FX 24 megapixels, rich, fat megapixels at full frame. So that's number one. Number two, incredible high ISO. This goes hand in hand with that nice full frame sensor with those big fat megapixels. Every photo site on the sensor is larger than you would get on a DX camera. So therefore, you're going to have really, really good image quality, great light gathering ability, very low noise at high ISOs. In fact, I expect the D600 may be one of the best performing high ISO cameras out there. Number three, great AF autofocus performance. Now, it's not going to be class leading. We're not looking at a D800, D4 canon 1dx autofocus here but it's going to be the next tier just below that similar to the d7000 which has incredible autofocus and probably a little better than the d7000 the full frame sensors always seem to work a little better for autofocus than the dx sensors do so there you go that's number three great autofocus on a full frame camera and then number where are we at here four is size we're looking at basically for all intents and purposes, very close to a D7000 size body, smaller, lighter. Um, I'm preferring the smaller cameras. Obviously, the trend is going that way. Mirrorless cameras uh, are huge. Everybody's into the mirrorless. And basically, uh, if you like the smaller cameras, you're going to love the D600. For me, big plus, smaller, lighter, and, not, and, and full frame. First time we've had a full frame camera this small and this light. Great advantage right there. Number five, speed, 5.5 frames per second. That says it all. In all reality, nobody really needs 5.5 frames per second. Some people are going to argue, oh, but I shoot sports and I need, you know, 23,000 frames per second, some crazy number. The thing is, is that 5.5 frames per second, it's fast enough, fast enough for almost everything everybody needs to do. Back in the day, people used to shoot manual cameras and capture sports. It was all in the timing, folks. You got 5.5 frames per second. I would say to you that 99% of photographers out there will never need more than this on a camera. So that's excellent, especially at this price point. And then we've also got full HD. That's number six. We've got full HD capabilities on this camera, 1080p at 24, 25, and 30p. So, excellent video camera, the D600. Perhaps one of the best out there now because full frame sensor with those nice fat sensor sights on there combined with all that ability in your HD camera uh, or your HD video abilities, and you're going to get rich, creamy, extremely detailed, excellent high ISO video. Could be, could be one of the best video cameras on the market. Uh, very excited about that too, because I do a lot of video, uh, obviously here at Art of the Image on my Pumpernickel Park Children's site and on a few other YouTube sites and, and for customers and other things that we do in video. Now, uh, number six, we've already alluded to, number seven, I should say, that's number seven, we've already alluded to, and that is price. Price ties into all of the other factors because basically you could always say, well, this camera's better or this camera's better if you're spending, you know, eight thousand dollars or whatever the uh, the D uh, the Canon One DX is at or six thousand where thereabouts for the Nikon D4. Um, but price comes into the factor for most of us. It certainly does for me. I'd rather own two similarly spec cameras at half the price than a slightly higher spec camera at um, full pop or three times the price, whatever it's going to be, but I can only own one of them at that level. So D600 at this price point is all the camera 99% of us need, all the camera that really any pro needs. Any pro could, could do anything with this camera. There's not a pro out there that couldn't 
use this camera for all his professional uses. It might have a little complaints. Maybe a you know, sports photographer wants a little faster frames per second. But challenge him and say, can you not use it? Sure, he's going to deliver excellent stuff with the D600. So bang for the buck. You can't get better right now. There's no better DSLR on the market. Bang for the buck than the Nikon D600. And that's where the price factor's in here. I believe it's $2,099 uh, US uh, suggested retail price. Probably that will drop in the future, but I wouldn't expect anytime soon because I would think demand for this camera is going to be huge. If you want one, get on a pre-order list because they're going to be in short supply. So there you go, folks. There's seven reasons, seven reasons why the D600 may just be the perfect DSLR for you. For me, it may be the perfect, the most perfect DSLR ever. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned to Art of the Image. We'll be back soon with some new videos, some new uh, posts, and uh, we'll keep you up to date with what's going on in the world of photography here at artoftheimage.com.